Welcome to what is sure to be the final Natural 9 of this week. Not that there are any more than one, but, you know... Ah, you know what that was mean. I'm sorry. We'll get straight into this week's Critical Role. A fight with a big, mean dragon. Maybe this time they won't die. Maybe. <laughs> Last time, the party tracked Raishan down to the island of a known necromancer. A few fumbles along the way, but after crossing a chasm of bodies and gravity shifts, they make their way deep into the caverns, where they seemingly find the human form of the evil green dragon, who is concentrating on reading. The party surrounds Raishan, who doesn't give a shit, and keeps reading. She's well aware that they're there, but she's too busy digging through things to give box mocking at the time of day. She eventually speaks telling them that what she found was what she wanted. And apparently it lined up with Thordak's intent before he went cuckoo. She reminds them that their deal is up, and they should fuck off, or face death. Keyleth is the boldest of the group as she walks slowly up to Rai Rai and speaks about how the Deceiver informed her a lot about herself, and that she sincerely hoped that when she gets that old, she'll never be as crotchety as Raishan. Still fucking ship it. This kind of gets Rai Rai's attention, which allows for some other setups, including Care trying to use his divine sense again to find any undead, thankfully none, and a truly brilliant play by Scanlan as he unleashes the good doggy stone and prepares the pup to sniff out any invisible dragons. Keyleth then proves her strength by providing Raishan with an ultimatum. Come with them to face trial in front of the Council of Tal'Dorei and the Ashari, so that the entire continent gets their moment of revenge against the creature that did so much damage to him, or die here. Raishan is too old for this shit and says, Fuck it! I'ma kill you bitches dead then. And then the twins Hunter's Marker. Or rather, the Hunter's Mark Thin Air. Because why would she be in the room? Initiative is rolled. Since the big green girl isn't in the room, Vax focuses on poaching some eggs. My puns are nowhere near as bad as theirs, don't worry. He finishes one, while Vex scouts and Percy takes out the other. Meanwhile, the dog spots something invisible, and Grog gets the how do you want to do this on a dead corpse. He smashes Thordak's skull in, even though he's like, dead, yo, and then smashes one of the dead baby primal dragons. Grog is really good at killing dead things. Remember folks, people die when they are killed. Then he incurs the wrath of Wraiths, who of course were not detected because Raishan is better than you. 41 points of necro damage later, Grog's max HP is brought down by the same amount, so to around 190-ish after the Hero's Feast. Scanlan then gets something dispelled as he blows his horn of fog to try to help out in some way. Care takes his first round of combat and hits the dead thing with a divine smite. Then Pike gets dispelled. Kima does the heals, they don't work because Grog's messed up, and Allura pulls her hood back to hold the disintegrate, to destroy the fuck out of this dragon bitch. Pike does a pike and summons a spiritual weapon right next to Scanlan, to protect him, and then lights up the room with her presence, and a spell. Kiki perceives a dragon in the fog cloud, so she glitter bombs the shit out of that, but fails because of a counter spell or a legendary resistance or something. Either way, we know she's in the cloud. Round 2 begins with Vax daggering some dead 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 things, deadening them for realsies. Probably. Vex floats her hunter's mark to Raishan and takes a blazing bramble shot and succeeds, even at disadvantage. The bramble shot works and Rai Rai is restrained. Fuck yes. Then a sleep arrow. It didn't do shit but damage her, which is good. Go Vex! Go Hex! Percy gives her disadvantage on strength saving throws and takes a shot with bad news, burning through Cabal's ruin and throwing an extra 66 lightning damage. And Rai Rai, apparently, breaks out of the bramble. Or maybe she doesn't? Well regardless, she burns her 9th level spell and uses Draco Meteor. Scanlan takes 118, thankfully he's immune to Meteors. Percy takes 118. Kiki takes 59, Alora is already down, sound the fucking alarms! Care takes 118 and goes down, Vax takes fucking nothing, Vex takes 59, Trinket's back in the necklace, Grog takes 85, and Pike takes 87. Thanks for resistances! Percy then points out that Cabal's Ruin is a thing, so he absorbs the attack, having the damage, 
and causes the cloak to go into overdrive. Cabal's Ruin has awakened. Six charge limit? Fuck that. Percy has nine now. Unfortunately, practically every good spell effect is gone, and the dog is fucking dead and back to Onyx form. When will that dog have his day? Oh, and the other Wraith's dead too because of friendly fire. <laughs> Scanlan goes to help Best Girl up, nearly taking a dragon claw in the face, but a reminder to get a checkup from Dr. Dranzel distracts the dragon long enough for Scambo to dodge, healing Allura to 10 hit points. I love you, Scanlan, did you know? You're always my favorite. Then he misses with Bigby. Dang. And then Pike is dead. Nope, she's not. She has plot armor. Grog then leaps and bounds to Rai Rai range and takes his shots, and she reacts by unleashing a cone of cold. Pike, Scanlan, and Allura are down, and I am weeping. Kara fails a death saving throw, but Kima lays on hands and helps keep him alive. Allura fail fails a death saving throw! Ah! And the DM hits on a player as Kiki prays to Malora and summons a firestorm, burning in legendary resistance in the process. Everything Marisha says is turned into a sex joke. Laura Bailey is around, of course it is. Pike is up after a healing word as well. Vax gets the other gnome up and uses his vow of enmity to get ready to end Rai Rai. Vex brings Allura back, and Percy drops a grit to Percy roll with Animus and Cabal's Ruin, not doubling Cabal's damage because that's too OP, and burns a second legendary resistance. Rai Rai is not a fan of yo-yos as she takes some shots at the nearly down Scambo, who manages to block one and take two, losing two death saving throws immediately. And Sam loses the third. Scanlan's dead. Grog doesn't like that one bit and takes a really lucky shot with one other attack missing and the third attack burning the final legendary resistance. Wing attacks abound with some Nox prone and Vax taking a shot with an attack of opportunity. Care prepares an action and Kima heals Care up a bit more. Allura is Bay Marisha. She gets up, nat 20s her perception to get a beat on the dragon and dispels the fuck out of the invisibility. Pike does what she does best and tries to revivify Scambo and fails. And those rules for bringing back dead peeps are great for dra dramatic action, guys! <laughs> she heals herself for 11. And then, Keyleth. Holy shit! Keyleth! Fuck yes! Feeble mind! Fuck yes! Rashawn's intelligence and wisdom are one! No spells! No magic items! Fucking yes! She then heals herself and also falls out of her chair. Marisha, are you okay? No, she's cool. She's cool. Fuck yes! Vax dagger daggers for a nice chunk of damage and Vex doesn't have much luck as her arrows don't hit. Thankfully, the grasping vine succeeds and brings her down. Percy then takes a swing with the Dragon Slayer longsword and succeeds for a nice chunk, but he takes an attack of opportunity in the aftermath. And three more hits for a nice chunk of damage. Percy's gone. Like, dead gone. God damn it, why? Grog doesn't like that one either, so he leaps and bounds to Rai Rai and hits her. Care then finally gets a hit on her. And that hit is enough for the fucking how do you want to do this? The big fuzzy Care steps over Percy's corpse and says, fuck no and smashes his hammer down, slowing down for a moment Toku style, and the hammer blows her fucking head off. That was hot. <laughs> Rajon's dead! After a much needed break, the girlfriends look over each other. Carrick does his best to keep Percy whole. Vex finds out the horrible truth about Percy, but Pike comes back and brings him to life. Thank God. Vex kisses the fuck out of him. Grog really doesn't like that Scanlan is dead and demands that they fix him. Laura prepares to teleport to get them the fuck out of there, and it doesn't work. Raishan said that there was shit going on. Pike finds a book that might be the source. Vax looks for traps, and Kiki and Grog try to get through this other door, but there's a cave-in that prevents them from leaving through that door. Grog and Percy start looting the cavern because they need to know what all this shit is. Kiki stabs Raishan's body with the spire, and the staff accelerates the disease. I mean, she's already dead, but maybe now she's deader than dead. Kara is forced to make a constitution saving throw as glyphs nearby lock him up. They bring him over and Allura heals him. And then they start walking out and Allura, Percy, using Scanlan's wand of fireballs, 
and Keyleth burn the bitch down to the ground. Gravity Well is overcome without any issues, the stairs are overcome, and the baby skulls are still around. The party says fuck that shit and destroys the hell out of three of them before Care rushes in and gets hit by fire rays. He doesn't give a shit, he destroys them. Pretty easily. They finally get out of the cave and decide to get the fuck out of there and head to Grayskull Keep using Laura's teleportation circle. And it works! Well, it doesn't look like it usually does, according to Kima. But Alora's gone, and Kima rushes right through it. The rest of the party figures that the island's doing some crazy shit. The spell ends before they can do anything, so they decide to head to a tree and get the fuck off the island. Kila tries to find Alora. She's in the middle of the goddamn ocean! Thankfully, Kima's with her. They're alive. They're alive, that's what matters. One thing at a time, Kiki. Well, one thing at a time if it weren't for that natural 20 perception check, and the fact that Kima and Alora are off the island, just a little ways away. Vex goes and grabs them with her broom, and Percy goes out to save all of them with the carpets. They're all safe. <sighs> They're all safe. <laughs> Transport via plants barely works, and the party finally arrives in Whitestone. They head to the Temple of the Raven Queen as Kiki scries for Kaylee. She's still in Kaimal, giving the shitty bands there some shit. Vex looks for Gilmore, hoping he can send her there, and he tries to figure things out. Meanwhile, Vax tries to fix things up with Scanlan and pleads to the Raven Queen to help him come back. Gronk thinks he shouldn't be there, but Kiki convinces him to go to speak to Scanlan because he's the one in the party who's closest to the little guy. Carrot questions the need for Kaylee, but Percy figures that she's the best one to drag Scanlan back. Gilmore figures Eskel Rindarian can help teleport Vex to Kaimal, and the crotchety old man agrees. After arriving in Kaimal, after arriving in Kaimal, Vex manages to find Kaylee at the bar and tells her about Scanlan's death, and the drunk gnome is reluctant to go. Vex then gives her a little speech about forgiving deadbeat dads, and Kaylee finally says it's okay to go back via Gatestone. And she does. The Conclave is down! But the gnome's gone too. What will the future hold? Tell me all about your thoughts in the comments and be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more. And you can always find me at these Twitters shitposting away. I've been Arthur from Natural 9, and is it Thursday yet? Play of the game. My one eighth level spell, and I'm going to attempt to feeble mind her. Mm. She's used up all the legendary saves. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Four plus four. <gasps> Shut up! Her intelligence charisma become one. Cannot cast spells. Cannot activate magical items. Yeah! Oh my God! She's 